I think pen nursing is pretty life changing. One of the things that surprised me most about pen nursing was how grounded the work that we did was in social justice issues. That's not something you see at any other nursing school anywhere. Uh, pen nursing um, is full of soldiers um, who I see go out in the world and communities and uh, take on problems, tackle problems that maybe other people might shy away from. The science we produce is culturally competent. The science we produce is science that could be translated in other places and benefits from other places in the world. The best clinicians are healthcare researchers and the best healthcare researchers are also clinicians. And you only find those people at Penn Nursing. We are committed to do whatever we can to enable people to live the lives that they want, to achieve the goals that they want, to have the quality of life that they deserve. I think every time I go to clinical, I feel like I'm making a difference. So every time I go into a patient's room and like just taking their vital signs, just talking to them, I feel like I'm really making a difference. I've actually saw one of my patients on the street last week and he was doing fine and everything and he was out with his family and it really just touched me. I am making a difference, even if it's just for six hours a day. One of the great frustrations for families who have children on the autism spectrum is how long it takes for them to get in for a clinical evaluation. And what we have initiated now here at Penn Nursing is uh, an initiative to bring nurses into that area of clinical care and to train them to do both the screening and the diagnostic evaluation of these children. And it's me meant that the length of time that families typically have to wake, wait for an evaluation has moved down from over a year to just about six months. I was treating one particular patient who had had a very difficult course of treatment for her cancer. And it was clear that her cancer was chronic. It wasn't clear whether she was terminal. It wasn't clear you know, whether she would ever go into remission. But what was clear was that her cancer was chronic and that she was suffering from it. And that was, it was causing her a great deal of pain. Being able to help her take control of her treatment, to help her understand what was going on, to help her understand why she had five IV lines in her arm, to help her understand what the purpose of the radiation was in the chemotherapy and why she needed to have vaccinations, helping her understand her own care made a very clear impact in the way that she perceived her own time in the hospital. Well, I always tell this story about, uh, we had a Washington Post story a couple of years ago, and the picture on the Washington Post story was of one of the patients that our advanced practice nurses involved in the transitional care model had been working with for a couple of months. And this patient's goal, his name was Mr. Lind, uh, was to get back uh, out of his house. He had been homebound for about a year to get back into his garage and to be able to do the woodworking work that he loved. And so the picture on the Washington Post was of Mr. Lynn standing, working in his garage, etc. To me that's been sort of the source of inspiration. They took a picture of me with a little child and I won't forget that picture because it was a little child that I met in Botswana. I couldn't understand a word he was saying because he spoke in his mother tongue, but he was so fascinated by me and wanted to follow me all day, and so he did. His mother allowed him to do this. And so that to me was really one of those life-changing moments um, that I'm, I'm a pen nurse, I'm a pen nursing faculty, and I'm here in Africa, and I'm doing something that matters. I'm doing HIV research, and I'm also connecting with people and building partnerships. And I can't imagine that that would have happened anywhere else but here at Penn Nursing. I think that we are creating the future of healthcare here at the University of Pennsylvania. Not just the future of nursing, but the future of healthcare. Uh, we have challenges in our healthcare system, both in our country and in other countries. And what we're doing here at Penn is that we are doing research to model new ways to organize our healthcare system to improve the outcomes for the people that we care for. We don't just study it, uh, we change it. This is a place that has a great deal of passion for, uh, for education, for mentorship, and for, uh, for producing science, for advancing science. Our faculty are in Honduras saving uh, women's lives. Uh, they are in Botswana uh, preventing HIV AIDS. They are in Eastern Europe training the next generation of scientists. We are agents of change and we are agents to make an impact and that our science does not, should not and will not sit on shelves. 
I'm Chris Coleman, and I am changing the world by helping individuals with HIV AIDS learn how to live healthier lives. I'm Mary Naylor, and it has been my great fortune to work with a team at Penn that is changing the lives of chronically ill older Americans in this country and the lives of their family caregivers. My name is Kristen Townsend, and through Penn Nursing, I will be able to become a pediatric nurse practitioner and help children fight asthma. I'm Linda Aiken, and I'm designing innovations to improve health care. My name is DJ Melendez Torres, and Penn Nursing is empowering me to impact the way that we take care of our nation's older adults. At Penn Nursing, we care to change the world.